This is going to be a long one, so you might want to grab a cup of coffee. <laughs> we'll start by setting up the timeline system on this vault. This is the vault I created for my website. You've seen it on some old videos, recent videos, I mean, uh, the ones I talked about the properties, uh, replacing properties and find and replace and the find and replace uh, uh, global find and replace plugin. But I need to set up the timeline system here. I need to add some plugins, including the Kanban plugin. Uh, and I need to add the micro publish plugin because that's how I'll be publishing from now on to Obsidian. I'll keep all the files here and those files will be published using that micro publish plug plugin. So the first thing I need to do here is to create the three parent containers, action, static, and the timeline. So let's do that. Action, static, and timeline. Some of my clients, they are using just action instead of action containers, static instead of static containers. And I think that's cool. I like it. <laughs> but the idea of this parent container, the action, the static, and the timeline is to have other containers inside of them, other folders inside of them. And that's why I was calling them action containers, static containers. But I guess action, uh, static, and timeline is even better. It, it, it's shorter. So, uh, files. These are all the files from the posts. So this is going to the timeline. Uh, posts is going to the timeline. Uh, pages are the pages because the website has posts and pages. So that's also going to the timeline. This is all history. Um, then we have legacy. Legacy is my old uh, website, the one I had on Obsidian, Obsidian Publish. I just, I, I moved that from my main vault to this vault here. I'll keep it here because you never know, maybe someday I would like to go back to Obsidian Publish. Oh, there is one more here, templates. That's going to the static. This is something that helps me do my work. So that's why uh, I'll keep it inside the static parent folder. So let's open all this and you can see how it looks like. Okay, there are two other folders here, other containers of information missing here in the timeline. I need to create one folder for YouTube. These are the video scripts, and I have to create another one folder uh, for the collaborations. Okay, now I would have to have the same containers here, collaborations, pages, YouTube, and posts, because this is the action. This is where I would be creating the, the post. And when that's published, it would be moved to this, to the timeline, correct? We are doing that, but instead of creating the folders, I'm going to use the Kanban plugin. Let me show you here how that will work. So community plugins, browse, Kanban, install, enable. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is create four boards here. The new board is called YouTube Pages. Okay. To make our lives easier, I'm going to go back to the plugin. I'm going to set uh, the options. The So if you don't know how this plugin works, it has two settings. It has this main setting. And if you go to a board, it also has the board setting. So when you set it here from the plugin, you're setting like it's like a global setting, but you can override that. Uh, changing the board setting. So what I'm going to do here is create uh, a global setting in a way that I like the most of the settings, and then we'll go to the boards and, and, and create specific settings for the boards. So display checkbox, I want this. 
I want shift enter to create a second line when I'm typing something. And I'm going to go into much detail here on how to set up the plugin because this is not the goal for today. My goal is to show you the system working. Okay. I want app and this means that the cards will be created below each list, hard card counts list. I don't need that. New template, new folder. This is something we're going to set uh, based on each board tags. So let me just take a quick look here. Okay. I want this information to be added to the card. So I have the formats here. They are okay. Move dates to the, oh, there's another one here. I want the tags to be move tags to the card footer. If I add some tags. Oh, and here, when you search for tags on a board, you can, you can have the tags to, to filter all the notes only on that board or on your entire vault. I want the tags to be searched, uh, though, to be filtered only the tag. Uh, I want to filter only the tags that are uh, on that board. Okay, so the main settings are fine. So let's go to posts here and let's create here some lists. Idea, uh, write, and publish. There are more lists in my system and I'll refine this after publishing the video, but I just want to show you how cool this is, the combination, how, how, how things are, are working so well with this plugin and the timeline system. Now we need a template for our posts. And this template has to uh, be in accordance with how MicroPublish uh, reads the properties to publish a post on uh, uh, my blog. So let's go to templates here and I'm going to create a new node. And this is going to be, I'm going to use the super creative title of posts. Okay. And here we'll start creating some properties. I need title. I need URL. And I want you, I don't need, I, I want date. So title is how the plugin will title the posts. URL is how the plugin will link this note to the to the post. Once this note is published, uh, the plugin will add the URL of the post here and this will link both. And when I change something here, this will change. I'll, it will also change if I repost. It's not automatically. I have to repost it, but everything I change will be updated uh, on, on the post. Oh, there's one missing here. Tags. Tags. So the plugin will translate tags into categories on my blog. And for the date, let's uh, go to the source mode. I want to grab the date here. Okay, let's change this to date. Date, okay. But before we go, let's delete this. Okay, now let's go to posts and click here. And now check this. For this Kanban board, I want to use the posts uh, template when I create a note. And I want that note to be created in the timeline, timeline posts. So every time I create a note here, the card will be here inside the action container, but the note itself will be created in the timeline where it is supposed to go in the future when I publish that. That's so cool because I don't have to do anything. Every time I create a note here, it will be created in the timeline, but I'll still be seeing the note here inside the action container. But there's one more thing that I love about this plugin. For example, if I create a new idea here, new video idea, 
What I'm creating is just a car. There is no note here. So every time I have an idea, I can just write it here, whatever I want, because I'm not uh, polluting my uh, vault. It, it's just a card. I can then delete this if I'm not working, if I don't like to, if I'm not doing anything with this idea, I can delete the card. Or let's say I'm gonna write about this. So I'm gonna move it to this uh, new tab here right and i can now create a note from this card but check this when i do this it's creating the note inside the posts in the timeline so it's already there and it has all the properties i need to publish this using the micro publish so instead of New idea, let's call this, this is a test. Okay, because I'm gonna publish this <laughs> at the end of this video. So we now have our post, okay? We have the date, we don't have tags, we don't have anything. But let, let's close this. Like I said, let's close this and close this. So like I said, it's here, I'm working on it, but it's already here too, <laughs> that's so cool. I'm gonna just uh, change this Z to A so it, it, come, it comes to the top. So it's here, <laughs> that's so cool. Okay, now imagine this for all the four uh, items here. So we have posts, we have YouTube, we have pages and collaboration, all of them will have their own board and the boards will be a little bit different, but there's more. Uh, most of the time, I'm creating a script for YouTube and not a post. So what I wanna do is add another plugin here. This plugin is the community plugin. I'm gonna use the homepage plugin. Uh, install, enable, options. I want it to open on a startup and I want this to be action YouTube, action, YouTube, because this is what I do most of the time. So it's gonna, the chances that I, I will open uh, this vault to write a, 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 a YouTube idea, idea for a video are, are very high. So that's why I want this one to be the one that this page to be the one that always opens when I uh, uh, when I open Obsidian. So I want this to keep uh, open notes. So keep open notes. So I, I don't want to it to delete and uh, remove any tab. Open notes. Okay. And I want this to pin. I want the YouTube uh, tab to be pinned. Uh, home page default view. Okay. That's it. So now every time I open Obsidian, the YouTube board, there's no board here, but there will be one. It's gonna be the one that will open. And like I said, this is what I do most of the time. I'm uh, taking notes uh, of ideas I have for videos. So that's that, but there is more. We need now to install the MicroPublish plugin. This plugin works with microblog and depending on your subscription, you can have more than one blog. So this is to set which blog you'll be posting to. You can set some categories, default categories, and the visibility, let's change this to public. So as soon as I pub post it from Obsidian, it's gonna be public. It could be a draft. Navigation, this is to auto add a page to the navigation bar of the blog. I don't want that. So uh, I, I never do that. I, al I always check the pages before publishing them and synchronize categories. This will synchronize the categories from the blog with the tags I have here uh, on Obsidian. Before we go back to the board, to the Kanban board, I wanna set one more thing here. I wanna set a hotkey, micro publish. So publish uh, a post. I'm gonna set a hotkey command, control command P, okay? And now we can go back here. Uh, I just noticed that I created these tabs for 
the video uh, script, <laughs> and this is the, uh, the the articles. But that's okay. Uh, let's say I. I'm editing this, uh, I'll fix this later. You get the idea. So, uh, now let's write something here. Hi, this is a test. And I can use the option common P shortcut to open the posting window. And as you can see here, it still gives me a chance to add a title. I don't want to add a title. I don't want to add categories, but I want this to be uh, public. So now I'm gonna hit publish here. So as you can see, it grabbed the URL from the post and this is already published. But before we go there, there's one last thing I have to do here on my workflow. So let's go back to posts. Uh, this is already published. Okay, publishing is not the last step here because I like to check, make sure everything worked because there's a lot of automations going on here. And what's happening now is that that post uh, was published to my blog and from there it is cross post to Mastodon and Blue Sky. So I also like to check that to make sure everything worked fine. And when that's checked, everything worked, I can click here, that's done. And when this list gets to a lot of cards, I can click this little box here and this will archive the cards. But the magic here is that there is no notes inside the action containers. They are already where they are supposed to be. So this is a test, is already here inside the timeline. I, uh, this is so cool, this combination is so cool. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you wanna help even more, please consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member. As for the timeline system, there are many videos on the channel and if you want, help on your small business or your personal life, take a look at vladcampus.com slash consulting. Thank you so much for your time. See you soon.